okay ignore the mess if you will it's IBC tote strewn around uh, big old pile of mulch that we scraped back because I'd framed in the the foot around where the greenhouse bows are going to be attached to all the way around uh, probably about a month back and then my back started acting up so I hadn't been able to get anything else done me and the wife got out this morning we raked the mulch back that I'd, I'd spread out to keep anything from going back that's gonna be my flooring in the greenhouse is the wood chips from the trees I cut down uh, I'd gotten these barrels earlier this week that I'm going to use to make my filter system with uh, they're steel drums 55 gallon uh, they're food grade made for storing corn and, and stuff like that in they've got a Teflon liner to keep the uh, steel from contacting the food so they should be fine uh, as far as for using for my filtration system uh, definitely keep the water from causing the steel to rust but at any rate uh, we got this rake back I've got some bricks in there that I'm going to use as a front front ledge because I'm going to use some of the dirt I'd, out of this hole I just dug to uh, level it out so all my tanks will be level with each other um, but the main thing right now is this right here this is the hole for my sump this is going to be the sump it's a 275 gallon IBC tote I'm not going to bother burying the frame and the bottom I don't see the purpose in that the sides of a hole will keep it from spreading and the bottom will be a bottom so I don't see any purpose of wasting that because I can use the the base of the frame and its frame for another grow bed because uh, I'm going to be using tops and bottoms of these IBC totes to make my grow beds with so the more bases I have the better off I am I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, fish tanks the five that are going to be fish tanks I'm going to take the bases off of them and just set them on the ground and, and set the cages around them uh, the ground will make a perfect bottom for them I'll lose a little bit of height but not enough that I'm worried about it but at any rate uh, that's what's going to be happening this is going to be the hole the sump's going to go in it. It should stick up about six inches. I didn't want it all the way down at ground level. I wanted it to stick up just a little bit. Uh, and that's what we did. I dug the hole 33 inches deep. Uh, the IBC totes are 39 inches. So that'll give us uh, six inches above ground. Of course, about four inches of that is going to be concealed behind the mulch once we bring the mulch back up. So they're going to be—it's going to be almost ground level, but not quite. Uh, I didn't—I don't see the need of sinking it all the way below ground and then having to put a grating over it to keep people from stepping on it. I'm just going to bury it to that level right there. Uh, I might eventually frame something up and put across the top of it so I can have a little work table or something like that, but. For now, it's just going to be dead space. Uh, I've got plenty of space for building other things in this greenhouse, so I'm not that concerned about just that three and a half by four area. But at any rate, that's what the plan is. Uh, I'll see if I can put a shot of it after it's in the hole. <laughs> 